So what are the syndromes that are associated with JVs, by the way? This is an additional point I want to say. Of course, we know about Osborne waves that can be seen in hypothermia and related causes that we have discussed just a while ago. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Dilip, your internal medicine educator at Triplad and ETSS. Here am I to discuss about some of the treasures that is given in our very own Triplad and ETSS platform. And I'm going to discuss about a very important type of wave in this that's called as Osborne wave. So what is Osborne wave? Osborne wave is a deflection with a dome or hump-like configuration occurring at the J point. So it's a kind of a J wave in the ECG. So what are the causes? of Osborne waves, hypothermia, the most important cause, and it can happen in hypercalcemia, and it can happen in multiple other conditions, like subarachnoid hemorrhage, traumatic brain injury, after cardiopulmonary arrest, and after idiopathic ventricular fibrillation as well. And look at this EKG. So this is the classic Osborne wave that you're going to get at the J point. When you talk about the J waves. So what are the syndromes that are associated with J waves by the way? This is an additional point I want to say. Of course, we know about Osborne waves that can be seen in hypothermia and related causes that we have discussed just a while ago. And apart from that, in Brugada syndrome, you can see the pseudo RSR pattern. You're going to see something like this. The pseudo RBBB pattern, the pseudo RSR is a kind of a J wave. So Brugoda syndrome is a kind of J wave syndrome. And you can see the J waves in ARVC. That's arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. You're going to see something called as epsilon wave, isn't it? So you're going to see multiple wavelet-like appearance at the J point. And these tiny, tiny potentials are what we call as epsilon wave which occurs at the J point. So this is also an example of a J wave syndrome. And last but not the least, we have something called as early repotization syndrome, where your J waves will be very commonly located at V4. Even though if the J waves are located in the inferior leaves, some studies say that the patient is at high risk of sudden death, but in most situations, you're going to see the J waves in the V4, and this is what we call it as the fish hook pattern. Thank you very much. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.